What's up? My name is Jamari G, and today we're doing the Mr. Robot Challenge on Try Hack Me. Let's get into it. What's up? If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, much appreciated. Always nice to have a familiar face around here. Let's go ahead and look at this box. So we're doing the Mr. Robot Challenge called Mr. Robot CTF. It says based on the Mr. Robot Show. Can you read this box? The Mr. Robot Show is an awesome show on Amazon. You should definitely check it out. All four seasons, beautiful. So for task one, connect to our network. So I just already went through and clicked through and okayed everything because it's just connected to the network. I've already been connected. No need to go through and do all that kind of mess. So for task two or hack this machine, go down and says, again, can you root this Mr. Robot style machine? This is a virtual machine meant for beginners slash intermediate users. There are three hidden keys located on this machine. Can you find them? Okay, awesome. So we got key one, key two, key three, or flags. They're calling them keys for the CTF. We're just gonna roll with it like that. So first thing we gotta do, as you know, is go ahead and start the directory and go ahead and start that recon. First we're gonna do is create the directory right there. If I can type right, actually, there we go. We'll call it Mr. Robot. Boom, go back in the IP address is 10.10.1.112.240. There we go. So the, the tool I just used will be linked in the description bar down below in my GitHub. It's a simple tool. I'll just create the directory, then CD me into it, and then start the recon. The recon is really simple. Honestly, it's gonna be my in-map scan and then the, using the tool Fuff. Really basic, really simple. Again, it's in my GitHub down in the description bar below if you guys wanna go check it out. So while this is running in the background, we're gonna go ahead and check out that website and see what's on there. Let's go ahead and copy this right here. Go over here, there we go. Let that load up. All right, so letting this go right now. This is honestly, this honestly, if I didn't, I think it, it kind of looks like I'm getting hacked right now. I'm not sure. Okay, it's logging in. Root. Okay, the root password wouldn't even know what that is. Okay, so it says hello, friend. If you've come, you've come for a reason. You may not be able to explain it yet, but there's a part of you that's exhausted with this world. A world that decides where you work, who you see, how you empty, and how you fill your depressed bank account. Even the internet connection you're using to read this is costing you, slowly chipping away at your existence. These are the, there are things you want to say. Soon, I will give you a voice. Today, your education begins. Okay, that's, that's, that's a, a big way to start off this machine, honestly, so far. Let's go ahead and just enter repair, see what that happens right there. There we go. All right, yeah, this is definitely the most advanced tracking machine that I've taken on so far, honestly. Really nice, very, very visually appealing. All right, looks like these are clips from the Mr. Robot show, if I'm correct. Let's see, watch a little bit more. Yeah, these are definitely shows from Mr. Robot, clips from the Mr. Robot show. Let's go and look and see what our in-map scan has done right now while this is just running in the background. All right, so yeah, our puff scan is going up too already. But look at the in-map scan, we see a port 22 that's closed, which is weird. We have port 80, which we just touched for HTTP is open, and port 443 is also open. That's cool, no information was thrown back in the side, but that's awesome. Going down to the puff scan, we see we have a whole bunch of directories that have popped back. We have blog, images, RSS, login, video, zero, feed, image, atom, admin, WP content. Okay, that's awesome. That means we know we're done with the WordPress machine. Let's go and look at that real quick if we can. Go ahead and take this right here. Go with WP content. Let that load right now. See if it's gonna load up just yet. Put an extra slash, just go ahead and delete that. There we go. All right, boom, we're letting that load right now. Is it loading, is it loading? Go ahead and reload the page real quick. See if it's gonna load. All right, it's being really weird right now. Let's put a .php for the extension to see if that'll help, honestly. All right, boom, so it did help, that's beautiful. Let's go ahead and look at that fuff scan again, make sure we went through everything and looked at it. All right, so we got WP content, audio, intro, login, all that kind of stuff. Scrolling down, we see robots. So robots.txt is always awesome on a website. Let's go ahead and check that out first, see if there's anything we can pull from there. Go ahead and check this, there we go right there. All right, so boom, we see we have key one of three that right there. Let's see, we're gonna take that right there. Key one of three, go ahead and take that out right there. Boom, pow. All right, bet, so that should be the first flag. Make sure it is, take it right there. All right, boom, so that's the first flag. Machine's going pretty well so far, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and go back and see what it was just talking about. So we have fsociety.dick, which is probably a dictionary file with a word list, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and check it out, get it downloaded. There we go. All right, so boom, it's gonna be downloaded to our downloads directory. Let's go ahead and move it around to our actual directory we're using right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the scan right now. Move it from my downloads folder. There we go, and it's F Society, there we go. We'll move it here, call it the same thing again. F Society, boom, boom, boom. There we go. And so now you can see, we have it in there right now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and go back to our actual WordPress machine. Let's see if we can log into it just yet. 
There we go. Log in, give it a second to pop up. There we go. We're trying to give it a second because this might be a little bit of a slow machine, honestly, when you're working on it. Not super fast as most machines but because it does have a lot of things going on in the background right now. As we saw with the television, television that came up and all the stuff that was going on with the Linux, Linux kernel on the screen. Give it a second to appear. Is it going to pop up just yet? I don't know. Hopefully it does. If not, all right. Give it a second. It's still trying to come up. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and go back here. I don't have anything to note down just yet, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this right now for a second and come back when it loads just for sake of time. All right, so we're back now. The WordPress login actually came back to us. Honestly, it took a little bit, so I had to pause the recording for just a little bit, but we're back now. So let's go ahead and try admin and admin. Just a default username and credentials. See if that's going to work. Press enter. All right, so the error message popped back says error, invalid username lost your password so that honestly means you can use hydra to try and brute force the username and login password to see if we can get into it so i'm not even gonna front with you guys i have this command copied down just because it would be too hard to remember so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it from right here i'll explain it in a second once i get it to run there we go change the ip address out put an actual ip address up there there we go right there 10 .10 Boom, okay, so now it's firing off. So it's saying hydra-l uppercase l to denote that we're using a word list, the F society dictionary, dash p lowercase admin, because that's the pass we're using. And then we have the IP address right here, HT post form, because we're attacking through post post method, and then WP login.php, because that's what we're attacking right there. And then it's root force for the log for the username and the password. And then it's using that invalid username that we got popped back so we can try and find that valid username. And as we see right here, the username Elliot popped back with the password admin. Now I'm 99% sure the password admin isn't gonna work, but let's go ahead and try and see what error message we get back again. Let's try Elliot right there. There we go. We'll try admin. Give it a second. Hopefully it pops back pretty fast. Let's see. This machine is kind of slow. Honestly. Okay, boom. So it says the password you entered for your username Elliot is incorrect. So that's awesome. So we know the user Elliot is a correct username we can use. All we need to do is now brute force for password. Now instead of using Hydra again, I'm going to use WPS Scan because it's a tool built for WordPress applications. So it's going to be way faster than Hydra. It's going to speed up the process a lot. So let's go ahead and get that tool fired off. Stop this Hydra scan right here. Go ahead and enter this command real quick. Go got 240, and then we're gonna do dash u. We're gonna do Elliot dash p. We're gonna do f society. Oh yeah, gotta do uppercase for both of these. That's my bad. Uppercase u and then uppercase p, and then it should work right here. And boom. Okay, that's perfect. So now WP scan is actually working and go go off and start working on it. It's actually not gonna start working because it doesn't know. Because right now we can see it's going for the the IP address that we're using but it's not attacking the WordPress application just yet. Boom, so now it's found that it's perfect. So it's going through looking for it. So now, right now it's enumerating the config backups, checking for configuration backups. We're at 14 out of 30, 137. It's moving pretty fast, honestly, but let's go ahead and look at the top part of the scan right now. So we see it pops back headers. There's some interesting headers are there. Server, Apache, awesome. That's pretty normal, pretty standard. We have robots.txt uh, or text flag found. We already went through and got everything from that. That's awesome, but it's nice that it tells us about that. If we were to use, use that in the initial recon phase, we would have known that probably a second faster than the fuff scan, but that doesn't matter to us right now because we're already there. So now we go down, we see XML RPC seems to be enabled. So that's cool. In case you want to do anything with that, see if we can get any vulnerabilities from there. That's awesome. That's noted for us. Thanks to WPS scan. Then we have the external WP Chrome seems to be enabled. That's awesome. So we can note that again for later if need be. But right now we're just trying to brute force the login and see if we can get in through there. If maybe we can come back to that. It's always nice to have that in the background just going for us. Then we see the WordPress version 4.31 given back to us. That's awesome too. The theme is 20, 2015. That's awesome. That's given to us too. See, WPS again is going in depth and giving us everything it can give us. So we're going down here more. New rating all plugins. No plugins were found. Okay, that's cool. Config backups is still going for those. No config backups were found, so that's awesome. Now it's moving on to trying to crack the password. So for the sake of time, I'm gonna stop this right now and come back to it once the actual scan is complete. Because right now it's gonna take forever and I don't want you guys to sit through that. So I'll come back once it's complete. All right, so the scan is completed and we actually got the password back, so it's perfect. We can see the password right here, ER2806. Let's go ahead and copy that right here, put it into our notes section just so we have it in case I forget it. There we go, Elliot. And then ER2, we'll call this WordPress login. 
right there. Save that just in case. We're gonna cancel that. All right, let's go back and log into WordPress. Copy that right there, ER2. Hopefully we can log in. Give it a second. This machine is kind of slow, which does suck, but it's a really nice, boom, machine. We're logged in. So now you can see Howdy, Howdy, Elliot L. Alder, ooh, Howdy, Elliot Alderson. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and get a reverse shell. Let's go ahead and start it up on this machine. Control Shift T, there we go. Boom, let me zoom in just a little bit more for you guys. There we go, that should be good. All right, so now we have it soliciting our NC, our NetKit listeners open. Let's go ahead and go back to WordPress and get this reverse shell. So I'm gonna go to Appearance, then I'm gonna go to Editor down here. Wait for a second. And now you could use anything. You can use 44.php, archive.php, comments.php, footer.php, whatever you want to use to get this reverse shell. It doesn't really matter just as long as it has a .php extension at the end. So it works with the reverse shell. And right now we can see we're using the 20, 2015 actual edit theme editor. So I'm going to go and get that reverse shell first. So there we go. Sublime. There we go. There we go. Downloads. Pull this out real quick. And then we're gonna go rshell.php. Type that in wrong so it pop back nothing actually. Close that without saving it. rshell.php. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so this is a reverse shell that I pulled from Pintest Monkey. Really awesome platform. All right, so this right here has my IP address for Try Hack Me and the port number I'm gonna use 333. Again, you can use any port number you want to. I just use 333 because that's something I'm normal and comfortable with. Control A, C, copy that over real quick. Pull this in. And we're gonna use archives. I'm just gonna take that control A, copy over that, control V. I'm gonna go down here and update the file. Give it a second. And now it's been updated. Let's go actually trigger that reverse shell now. So I'm gonna come up here, go 10.10.112.240 slash 2015. Enter that wrong. Oh, WordPress content actually, my bad. WordPress content dash 2015. Oh, I already did it right there. So it's boot themes at 2015. And so we're going to see it's going to load right there. And so I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can see that just perfectly. All right, there you go. Let you all see it. And so now we can come back here and see the reverse shell is actually triggered. And that's perfect. Boom. So we have the reverse shell. Let's go ahead and make this a privileged TTY shell because right now it's pretty ugly. It doesn't look nice. Let's go over here. Go to scan. Python right here. Find. There we go. That's what I need right there. Copy that over. There we go. Control shift V. Boom. So now I have a nice looking show, but it's not perfect just yet. I'm gonna hit Control Z to background that. Then enter ST raw echo. Boom. There we go. And then FG to bring that session back to me. Press enter and now I'm just gonna press LS LA. And so now what that allows me to do the privilege TTY shows, I can do like control C and it won't kick me out of that session. I can do tab auto complete stuff. It makes it a lot more simple and a lot easier to use. Let's go ahead and check and see what's in the home directory. Let's go ahead and CD in there and check what's in there. All right, so we see that we have the user robot. Let's go ahead and see what's in robots directory. All right, so we see we have key two of three and the password dot raw MD5 with the ha MD5 hash. Let's go ahead and see what's on there. Cat out the key flag real quick so we can get that. All right, so it says cat key two of three, permission denied. So let's go ahead and see what that MD5 hash is. We'll go ahead and cat that out right there. There we go. Let's go ahead and take that. So it looks like the login for the user robot. Let's go ahead and take that and put it into crack station. See if we can get that actual MD5 hash out of there. There we go. Got a crack station. Perfect, perfect. Input that right there. I'm not a robot, of course. All right, boom. So now we got the result back as a password. So let's go ahead and put that and save it first before I go ahead and log in with it, you know. Robot. Save that right there. And then we'll call it robot login. Robot login, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and log in now to use a robot. SU robot, boom, right there. Ask for the password and put the password right there. And boom, now we're the user robot because we can see we went from Damien to robot. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and cat out that flag right there. Cat key. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and LS. Might have entered it wrong. Oh, yeah, cat. Cat key and then autocomplete. There we go. Cat. Enter the enter CT instead of cat. Let me type correctly, actually. There we go. Now that's the second flag. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and put that in the try hack me. There we go. Submit. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get that actual root flag and finish this box off. This box has been moving, moving pretty steadily. I like it. Just kind of a slow machine. But then again, it's giving us a lot of information, a lot of stuff. So no wonder it's kind of slow. Let's go ahead and try sudo-l. All 
All right, the password. Gotta go pull that again. There we go. Okay, so it says, sorry, user robot may not run sudo on Linux. Okay, that's all right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually look for misconfigurations in SUID or sudo to see if they're gonna allow me to become root on this box. So I have a command that's already saved just to make it easier so we know what we gotta find. Use the find command to actually find that command. Press find again, there we go. Scroll down a little bit. Okay, perfect, yeah, the sued root misconfigurations right there. Take that from there. Control shift V. All right, so it says find, and it's looking for permissions that are in the 4,000 level or the root user level, and then it's printing them out and then echoing the, like the, the failed commands into the dev null sign to see all the failed commands that output. So right here we see we have ping, unmount, mount, ping six, su. None of those really mean anything because they're like normal configurations. But looking down here, the first thing that pops out to me is inmap, which shouldn't be on there. And then we have things such as VMware user sued wrapper, but that doesn't really matter right now. Let's go ahead and go to GTFO bins and see what they have to say about inmap. All right, so we're looking at inmap. Okay, let's open, see if they, yeah, they do have an entry for inmap, that's awesome. Let's scroll down here, let's go sudo. All right, bet. So there are two things. One, the first one being input echo is disabled, and we have the second one for inmap interactive. We're gonna use the second one because it seems pretty straightforward, pretty easy right now, and I won't be using sudo inmap interactive, just a regular inmap interactive because I can't run sudo on this box. Go ahead and copy that. Next thing I have to do is put uh, exclamation point sh if I do get a shell back. Enter that in right there. Perfect, so we do get in that pop back, so we just put exclamation point sh. And then this hashtag should mean that we are root. Let me, okay, so see that's the issue right there. Let me put who am I, type it correctly. So we are the user root, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and see what's in the root directory. Cat slash root, oh, cd I mean, or ls, typing this wrong, ls slash root. All right, so we see the key three or three dot txt. Hopefully we can just pull that out. Let's go ahead and cat that out, cat slash root slash key of three dot txt boom that looks like that could be the third flag to complete this machine off which would be awesome let's go ahead and copy and paste that in there perfect that is a third flag that's awesome i really love this box honestly a good beginner slash intermediate miss machine box really awesome really straightforward from getting key one to key two to key three through word plus application really nice in this video if you liked it you can go ahead and share it like it subscribe turn on post notifications so you can be alerted when the next video drops that's all i gotta say guys hack all the things have a good day bye bye